Okay, get ready, because today we're going deep on something uh, pretty wild. Yeah. Infinity. That's right. Um, and, you know, we all kind of have an idea of what that is. It's yeah. that endless sequence of numbers, mm -hmm. you know, the vastness of space, just yeah. endless possibility. It's a good concept. But get this, there's not just one infinity. Right. Mathematicians are finding that there are different types of infinity. Different sizes. And we have a popular mechanics article here uh -huh. called Mathematicians Casually Discovered Two New Infinities. I love that title. And it dives into two totally new ones. It's amazing, right? Like discovering new continents on a map yeah. we thought we had fully explored. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to unpack exactly what these new infinities are, why they're so groundbreaking, okay. and what they might mean for our understanding of math. So I'm ready. Get ready for a wild ride. <laughs> Okay, so before we get to these new uh, infinities, sure. can you give us just a, a quick refresher on you know, how there can even be different sizes of infinity? Absolutely. It already makes my head spin a little bit. I know it's a lot to wrap your head around, but um, yeah. imagine you have a box of all the natural numbers. Okay. One, two, three, and so on. Got it. it it's infinite, right? Yeah. But now imagine another box with all the real numbers, including decimals and fractions. Okay. Both boxes are infinite, mm -hmm. But the one with real numbers is actually considered larger. Wait, how can one infinity be bigger than another? It's kind of blowing my mind. Right. It's a bit of a paradox, but it makes sense when you think about yeah. how much more stuff is packed into that set of real numbers. Okay. This is what mathematicians call the infinity hierarchy. Uh -huh. Different levels of infinity, each potentially bigger than the last. Okay, so we have this hierarchy. And now we've got these two new infinities Yeah. called... Um, exacting cardinals and ultra exacting cardinals right. crashing the party. Exactly. What makes them so special? So these new infinities don't just add to the hierarchy. They seem to break some of the established rules, right, yeah. especially when it comes to this fundamental concept called the axiom of choice. Okay. Think of it like this. Mm. You're building your dream team. You get to pick players from any league, okay. creating a new set of all-stars. Yeah. That's kind of what the axiom of choice lets mathematicians do so it's like a with sets and in infinity. Mathematical draft for the best of the best, yeah. but with infinite teams. Exactly. The axiom of choice has been used to categorize different types of infinity. Mm -hmm. Some neatly follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Some are so large they cause mathematical chaos. Oh, wow. And some fall somewhere in between. Okay, so where do these new infinities, these exacting and ultra exacting cardinals right. fit in? Are they rule followers or chaos makers? That's the million dollar question. They don't seem to fit neatly into any of those categories. Oh, really? Which is what makes them so intriguing. Wow. It's like they're playing a different game altogether with their own set of rules. So what makes them so different? The article describes them in pretty strange ways, like houses containing copies of themselves yeah. and blueprints as wallpaper. Right. The article's trying to give us a way to visualize something that's yeah. almost impossible to wrap our heads around. Right. The house analogy is pointing to a key property of exacting cardinals. Okay. They're so large, they contain copies of themselves within themselves. Oh. Almost like those Russian nesting dolls. Okay. That already sounds pretty wild. Yeah. But what about the ultra exacting cardinals? Those are even weirder. Okay. Imagine that those houses, in addition to having copies of themselves inside, hmm. also have the blueprints for building themselves plastered all over the walls. Oh, wow. Ultra exacting cardinals seem to encode the instructions for their own creation. Okay. Which is a whole other level of complexity. That's definitely stretching my brain a bit. I know, right? So we've got these new infinities that are breaking the rules and challenging our understanding of how infinity works. Uh, but I have to ask, why should anyone besides mathematicians care about this? Yeah, that's a great question. Does it have any real-world implications? While we might not be building houses that contain themselves anytime soon, right. breakthroughs in theoretical math often have a ripple effect on other fields. Okay. For example, advancements in set theory which is what we're dealing with here, mm -hmm. have led to some pretty big developments in computer science. So maybe these new infinities could help us build more powerful computers or solve complex problems we haven't even thought of yet. It's certainly possible. We're really just beginning to explore the implications of these discoveries. Yeah. Who knows what doors they might open in the future. It's so cool. But there's one more layer to this that's really fascinating. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. 
There's another theory in set theory called hereditarily ordinal definable, or HOD. Okay. Which proposes that even the most chaotic infinities eventually become orderly when you apply the axiom of choice enough times. So it's like saying there's a method to the madness even when dealing with infinity. Exactly. But here's the kicker. Okay. These exacting and ultra exacting cardinals seem to defy that notion of order. Oh, really? It's like they're so fundamentally different that even the axiom of choice can't quite tame them. Wow. So they're not just rewriting the rules. They're playing a whole different game. Right. Exactly. This is getting pretty complex, but also incredibly fascinating. Yeah, and we're just scratching the surface. In the next part, okay. we'll delve deeper into the potential implications of these new infinities right, and explore what they might mean for the future of mathematics and beyond. I can't wait. This deep dive is already blowing my mind. Stick yeah. around, listeners, because it's about to get even more interesting. Welcome back to the deep dive. We're uh, still exploring these two new infinities exacting and ultra exacting cardinals. Yeah. And they are really like seriously challenging what we thought we knew about, you know, everything. It's true. I'm still trying to wrap my head around how something can contain copies of itself. Yeah. Like an endless hall of mirrors. It's a concept that really stretches the limits of our imagination, that's for sure. Yeah. But as we were discussing, uh, before we took a little break. Right. These discoveries aren't just theoretical curiosities. Okay. They have the potential to impact other fields in ways we might not even imagine yet. You mentioned computer science earlier. Yeah. Could you elaborate on how these new infinities might play a role in that field? Absolutely. Imagine you're designing a program to simulate the universe. Okay. Every galaxy, every star, every planet, right. down to the smallest atom. Right. It's a massive undertaking, right? Yeah. But what if instead of trying to approximate infinity, right. we could tap into the power of these new infinities okay. to create a model that's infinitely more detailed, infinitely more accurate? Whoa, that's a pretty wild thought. So we could potentially use these new infinities to create simulations that are as close to reality as possible. That's one possibility. Or think about artificial intelligence. We're constantly trying to create AI that can learn and adapt like the human brain, hmm. but our current models are limited by the finite nature of computers. So you're thinking these new infinities could help us break through those limitations yeah. and develop AI that's truly capable of thinking for itself. It's certainly a possibility worth exploring. These new infinities are pushing the boundaries of set theory. Right. And set theory is the foundation for so many other areas of mathematics, computer science included. Yeah. When you shake the foundations, you never know what's going to topple over and reveal something amazing. Yeah. It's like those domino chain reactions. One tiny push can create a massive cascade of events. That's a great analogy. So by shaking up set theory, yeah. these new infinities could have ripple effects throughout the entire world of math and science. Exactly. We're talking about fundamental concepts here, the building blocks of how we understand the universe. Mm. When you make a fundamental discovery, the possibilities are truly endless. Speaking of fundamental discoveries, you mentioned earlier that these new infinities seem to challenge the theory of hereditarily ordinal definable, or right. HOD. Yeah. Can you remind us what HOD is and why these new infinities are causing trouble? Sure, HOD essentially says that even the most chaotic infinities okay. can be tamed and brought into order by repeatedly applying the axiom of choice. Mm. It's like saying there's a hidden blueprint, a set of rules that governs even the seemingly most random aspects of infinity. Okay, so HOD is all about finding order in the chaos. Exactly. But you're saying these exacting and ultra exacting cardinals don't seem to play by those rules. That's what makes them so groundbreaking. They seem to exist outside of the framework of HOD, wow. which suggests that our understanding of infinity might be even more incomplete than we thought. It's almost like they're rebelling against the very notion of order, which is pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, it is. What do you think this means for the future of set theory and our understanding of infinity? It's an exciting time to be a mathematician working in this area, that's for sure. Yeah. These new infinities are forcing us to re-examine some of our most fundamental assumptions okay. and to consider new possibilities. Uh -huh. It's like we've stumbled onto a new continent and we're just beginning to explore its uncharted territories. So what are the next steps for mathematicians studying these new infinities? What are the big questions they're trying to answer? 
Well, the first step is to rigorously verify the findings of the initial research. Right. Other mathematicians will scrutinize the proofs, look for any potential flaws, right. and try to replicate the results. Mm -hmm. It's like a peer review process, but with incredibly high stakes. Makes sense. You want to make sure these discoveries are rock solid before you start building entire theories on top of them. Absolutely. Yeah. And once the findings are verified, the real work begins. Okay. Exploring the implications of these new infinities in depth. Cool. Mathematicians will be trying to answer questions like, mm -hmm. how do these new infinities fit into the existing hierarchy? How do they interact with other mathematical concepts? Yeah. What new possibilities do they unlock? It sounds like we're just the beginning of a very long and exciting journey. I think so. I'm curious though. Yeah. What are some of the practical implications of these discoveries? You mentioned computer science. Right. But are there other areas where these new infinities might have an impact? It's still early days, so it's hard to say for sure. Yeah. But there are some tantalizing possibilities. For example, cryptography. Okay. The science of secure communication relies heavily on mathematical concepts like prime numbers and factorization. Right, like how we use prime numbers to encrypt our online transactions and keep our data safe. Exactly. Now imagine if these new infinities lead to new insights into the nature of numbers and their relationships. Okay. That could potentially revolutionize cryptography. Wow. Leading to even more secure encryption methods that are virtually unbreakable. So we could be talking about a future where our online data is even more secure than it is today thanks to these new infinities. It's certainly a possibility, and that's just one example. Yeah. These discoveries could have implications for fields like physics, cosmology, even economics. Wow. We're talking about fundamental concepts here, the building blocks of how we understand the universe. Right. When you make a fundamental discovery, the ripple effects can be felt far and wide. It's all incredibly fascinating. It is. But I have to admit, I'm still struggling to grasp the sheer scale of what we're talking about here. But I know it's tough. Infinity is already a mind-boggling concept. And now we're talking about different types of infinity that contain copies of themselves mm -hmm. and defy the rules of order. It really changes how you think about things. It does. It really does. But it's also a reminder of the incredible power and beauty of mathematics. Yeah. It's a language that allows us to explore the most profound questions about the nature of reality. Mm -hmm. Questions that go far beyond our everyday experience experience. Well said. I think our listeners have a lot to ponder after this deep dive into the world of infinity. Before we conclude, I'd like to emphasize one key takeaway from our discussion today. Fix that. It's the idea that mathematics is not a static, unchanging field. Okay. It's a living, breathing discipline that is constantly evolving as we make new discoveries and push the boundaries of what we know. So even though mathematics might seem abstract and intimidating to some, yeah. it's actually a dynamic and exciting field. Absolutely. And these new infinities are a perfect example of that dynamism. Mm -hmm. They're challenging our assumptions, sparking new questions, yeah. and inspiring us to think about the universe in new ways. Well said. I think that's a perfect note to end on. Yeah. We've covered a lot of ground today, but there's still so much more to explore in the vast and mysterious world of infinity. And we encourage our listeners to continue that exploration on their own. Yeah. Read about these new infinities, think about their implications, mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to ask big questions. Who knows? Maybe one of our listeners will be the one to make the next groundbreaking discovery in the realm of infinity. Welcome back to the deep dive. Mm. We've been on quite a journey exploring the mind-bending world of infinity. Yeah, it's been a wild ride. And I'm still reeling from the discovery of these exacting and ultra-exacting cardinals. Mm -hmm. They're like the rule breakers of the infinite universe. I know, right? I mean, they really challenge our intuition about what infinity is and how it behaves. Yeah. I mean, who would have thought that an infinity could contain copies of itself? It's crazy. It's like those recursive images that keep zooming in forever. Exactly. Yeah, I'm starting to see infinity less as a single concept and more like this vast landscape, yeah. different regions, different rules, different levels of complexity. The whole world. But before we get lost in the infinite possibilities, right. I think it's time to bring this deep dive to a close and try to summarize what we've learned. Absolutely. So we started by establishing that there are different sizes of infinity, forming a hierarchy that we're still trying to fully understand, mm -hmm. right? And then we threw these two new infinities, the exacting and ultra exacting cardinals right. into the mix yeah. and realized 
they don't quite fit into the existing hierarchy. They really don't. They seem to operate on a whole other level. Yeah. Challenging our understanding of the axiom of choice. Right. Which is like a fundamental rule book mm. for how we manipulate sets in infinity. It's a big deal. And don't forget the hereditarily ordinals definable theory or HOD. Yeah. Which tries to bring order to the chaos of large infinities. That's right. These new infinities seem to defy that theory as well. They do. Suggesting that there might be even more to infinity than we ever imagined. It's really exciting. It's all incredibly exciting. Yeah. But I think one of the biggest takeaways for our listeners is that mathematics isn't just some static, dusty subject. Right. It's constantly evolving with new discoveries that push the boundaries of human knowledge. Yeah. And challenge our understanding of the universe. Absolutely. I think that's a really important point. These new infinities are a perfect example of how even seemingly abstract mathematical concepts yeah. can have ripple effects yeah. throughout other fields like computer science, mm -hmm. cryptography, right. and even physics. Absolutely. Who knows what doors these discoveries might unlock in the future? That's the exciting part we don't know. It's impossible to say for sure, but that's what makes it so thrilling. Exactly. We're literally on the frontier of knowledge. Yeah. Exploring uncharted territory. What a great time to be a mathematician. So for all our listeners out there who might be feeling a bit overwhelmed by all this talk of infinity, so, don't worry. It's a lot. The main takeaway is that there's always more to learn. Absolutely. Discover yeah. more to question. That's what it's all about. Exactly. Don't be afraid to dive into those Wikipedia rabbit holes. Right. Read articles like the one from Popular Mechanics yeah. that sparked this whole discussion. Yeah. And ask those big, seemingly unanswerable questions. You never know what you might find. And who knows, maybe one of you listening right now will be the one to make the next breakthrough in understanding the infinite. I hope so. That's all for this episode of The Deep Dive. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey into the world of infinity. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep.